Paris, Chicago's Hyde Park neighborhood could soon be getting a new hospital facility. The University of Chicago Medicine has proposed building a $633 million cancer center in hopes of addressing health inequities on the south side while also easing some of the medical center's capacity constraints. As it stands, UChicago Medicine says 67% of cancer patients in need of inpatient care have to leave the south side to get it. Joining us to discuss this proposal and more is Dr. Kunli Odunsi, director of the University of Chicago Medicine Comprehensive Cancer Center. Dr. Odunsi, thank you for joining us. Um, thank so, you for having me. Of course. First, give us a sense, please. What are the community needs this cancer center is intended to meet? Um, so this um, cancer center is really one of one of its kind as the way we envision it. It is going to be a cancer center where um, it will really meet the community, the needs of our community here in Southside. Um, it is a cancer center that will be patient centric, um, a cancer center that will provide innovative care to patients and really importantly strengthen access to cancer care especially the complex care needs of our patients in the Southside community. Now, we mentioned just a bit ago that, you know, 67% of cancer patients in the, in the Southside area have to leave the Southside in order to get their treatment for inpatient. Give us a sense of how strong the need is for cancer treatment specifically. Um, the need for cancer treatment and cancer care within our community is very strong. And this is because our Southside community has faced um, um, many health inequities um, in, in the past. And so what this cancer center is gonna do is to provide um, care for, um, especially complex care for residents of our Southside community and, and beyond so that these patients who ordinarily will not have access to this world-class cancer center will be able to have access one thing that I have to stress is that in planning this this cancer cancer hospital, we call we actually call it cancer hospital of the future. In planning this hospital, it's very patient centric, whereby patients um, are this at the center of, of of care. All of the aspects, you know, multidisciplinary care, bringing people together. People to, you know, really, really trying to offer the best possible care for patients. And of course, all of this is going to take place in this hospital. And of course, it would also, I think uh, you all have said that the intention is it would free up some beds uh, in the existing hospital um, so that cancer patients have been moved over to the center to get to the care that they need, making the hospital available for other other kinds of care. Um, give us a sense of what uh, what is there to be said about the need for health care services altogether on the south side? Um, this is a very important aspect of this new cancer hospital where you, we will consolidate services for cancer patients in one location. Um, in many hospitals across the country right now, patients go in different directions, um, especially cancer patients. Um, when, when cancer is diagnosed, it's a very complex process, sometimes very challenging. So to actually consolidate all of the care under one roof is the wave of the of the future so that patients will not have to go in different directions for their care whether it's diagnostics or therapy or survivorship um, all of this will be consolidated in this building and, and given that you know many south side hospitals we know have struggled to stay afloat due to financial constraints um, how can this hospital how can you all ensure that this hospital will be sustainable well, the first thing I will say is that um, community hospitals that we partner with, they play a vital role in providing access to care to our vulnerable and low income populations. And academic health centers like ours play a critical role, also play a critical role in caring for the very complex patients. So our missions are very aligned. So we're working with community um, um, hospitals so that we can provide patient access and care that patients need um, when and where they need it. Our patients in Southside Chicago need care, especially complex care that will be available in this new cancer hospital. 
And of course, you know, you just mentioned the, the collaborative of uh, community health centers that you partner with. But of course, you know, the center will treat cancer. Uh, but considering the dis disproportionate amount of cancer on the south side, what also can the hospital do about preventing cancer? Oh, this um, new cancer hospital has um, um, a great program that we plan. Actually, there are ongoing programs whereby we are engaging the community. Uh, we have programs in community outreach and engagement. Um, um, screening and, and early detection really is serving as a hub to make sure that cancer is detected early and taken care of at a point where um, we can have solutions for, for the patient's problems. And before we let you go, Dr. Adunse, where would you say the hospital is in the planning process? What's next? Um, the next big event for us um, really is uh, what we announced last week, whereby we um, submitted um, the CON permission to plan for the hospital, and um, um, and, and ongoing planning is, is 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 in full speed to try and come up with this cancer hospital of the future, a hospital that will drive that will have a lot of innovation, patient centric and really caring for our community needs um, in terms of trying to reduce the, the impact of cancer on our South Side community population. And I think your team has said that if all goes according to plan, it could be open in 2026? Yes, okay. if all goes according to plan, <laughs> which we hope it will, we're hoping it opens in, in, in 2026. All right. Best Again, we're working hand in hand with, with our community, we're engaging our community and we've had very broad support of this community um, regarding this hospital. Okay, and best of luck to you, Dr. Kunle Odunze. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thanks for having me.